Hello, Earth Science, and thank you all for coming to my channel. I'm doing a daily read for today, April 23rd, 2018. This is for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for our Earth Science today? So your bottom of the deck is the hangman. You guys are uh, becoming enlightened. You guys have been awoken to a connection that um, you have been trying to trying to almost forget. Um, so your overall energy, your emotions, uh, how you're feeling is the page of wands. So you are thinking about a fire sign. Uh, that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You can't get them off your mind. You want to message them. You want to reach out to them, but you're not quite sure if you should yet. Yeah. You guys are feeling nervous that they may not accept your apologies. You may be nervous that... Yeah. For um for a group of you, this is your twin flame. Um, not everybody. It is also um you know, uh it also pertains to people not in that journey, but um you're wanting to reach out to somebody that you've been with in the past. In your home um position, it's the tower. So Things are are coming to an end with a relationship in your home. Um, it just feels like a sinking ship is how you guys are feeling. You're feeling like no matter what you do, it's right. And this foundation is crumbling because you're meant to be with somebody else. You're meant to be with the, your soulmate. You're meant to be with your twin flame. So things at home are not looking good. At work, you're distracted. You can't concentrate on what's going on. All you keep thinking about is this person. Um, you're very distracted, very distant, and you were very confused, but you are coming out of the hangman, so you, uh, you've got this, this relationship on your mind, or this person. The unexpected, you guys are going to reach out and offer something to somebody, some sort of relationship, some sort of um, offer is either going to be given to you or you to them. And your overall energy, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, um, very likely, um, but it doesn't have to be. It's, but it is a fire sign. So if, if you are not connected or thinking about a fire sign, this reading is not, is not for you. This is a very clear clear cut reading here. Um, in your outcome, you need to, uh, you need to allow healing to come in from this tower, um, relationship. Yeah, because you're going to come into union with your, um, person of the past very shortly. Let's see what the angels have to say for us. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Earth Signs? That one didn't pop, but it flipped to the side. So for a group of you, um, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. We'll get one more here. There we go. Past life relationships. Yeah, like I was saying, um, this is definitely either a soulmate or a twin flame relationship. Uh, definitely have been um, with this person in past lives. So you already know this partner. You have already been with this person. You've been with them in this lifetime in the past. And this obviously is true love. It's a romance of a lifetime. So um, 
Spirit is saying for a group of you, you're nervous, you're scared, you're, you want to reach out and you just don't know how. Um, and Spirit is saying to let go of that fear, let go of this tower moment, this, this relationship that's crumbling, and um, reach out to this person. Because you're going to be surprised um, how they respond to you. Yeah, I was just going to clarify. Reach out to this person, communicate with this fire sign. Um, you're going to be surprised at how they react to um, you reaching out to them. They are waiting for you to communicate with them as well. And um, yeah, and just offer this person your love. As long as it's genuine and from the heart, it's going to be uh, successful and and uh, yeah. Um, it's going to be successful if you, if you reach out and offer this person what you have to offer, but you have to open up communication, um, in your home with a tower. Um, this is if you're partnered with another earth sign, um, Taurus, uh, is heavily dominant here, but it also could be a Virgo or a Capricorn, but this, this is crumbling and, and not healthy. So let let this let this come down to the ground and then be prepared to put in a lot of work. Your partner or person that you're thinking of, this person has been working hard on healing. Um, they put a lot of work into themselves and in the hopes of reuni reuniting with you. Yeah, and you're like I said, you're very distracted at work. You can't pay attention. You can't. You all you think about is this person. You're looking through their social media. You're looking through their pictures. You have a lot of memories, um, and it's hard to concentrate on anything else. But yeah. So, spirit's main message for you guys today is to reach out and open up lines of communication with everybody involved, whether it be that person that in your home life that is causing that tower moment, or whether it be the person you're thinking about. It's just time to be honest with your real feelings, your true feelings, and who you truly want to be with. So I hope you enjoyed this message, Earth Sign. Sorry it was so kind of clear, direct, and cut to just a few groups of people. Um, if it didn't pertain to you, hopefully I can get you next time. So as always, love, light, and God bless.